Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a demo of the new Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation that I put up a review on yesterday. So today is the promised demo showing you guys how I use this product. And I did mention before in that uh, review that I did pick up the brush that goes along with it and I will be using that today. So first to prime my face because I talked about it in the video but I find that it just works best if, at least for my skin tone because I have a combo to oily skin, to use a prime primer and much less a mattifying primer. So that's what I'm going to use. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is the base mattifier. And so this is the gray tube out of like the entire collection that they have. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put this anywhere where I normally get oily in my T-zone and like my nose area, my chin. And you do have to kind of work fast with this um, Makeup Forever primer. So I'm just going to put that all over and then let it dry for a second. That way, since this is an extremely hydrating, really nice foundation, I find by using like a mattifying primer, since I do have that combo to oily skin, it helps mitigate like the risk of getting oily because it's so hydrating. So to go in, I do have the Fair Light Neutral shade, and this is what it looks like. It is just like a tinge too dark, I think. Although you'll see when I put it on, I think it actually looks really good by the time it blends out, but I wish they had done like a half shade lighter. So now with the brush, which is called the Foundation Brush and Spatula, I'm gonna scoop out like a little bit of the product. I actually don't have to use that much. So this is what it looks like scooped on. And then this is up to you. Like you could put it on your um, hand and then stipple it onto your face. I like to kind of just throw some dots all over my face. And that's how I like to put it on the skin before blending it out. And I like to just do it willy-nilly, you know, like whatever. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And then I always like get the excess off on like kind of a rounded edge of my face. That way there's nothing left on the spatula. And then now I got some on this hand though. So I'm going to take some of that off with my brush. And then now we're just going to start blending. And I'm going to blend in circular motions. And just really buff that into the skin. And it blends out so well. And you can feel instantly how hydrating it is. Like it just feels like it has this really nice cooling effect about it. Oh, it makes my face look so pretty and flawless. I love the finish. And it's so fast to blend out. I mean, look how fast and I'm almost done. Now you can already see how it kind of gives like a luminous glow. It's not sparkly or luminous by any means. It's just so hydrating that it really just like plumps up your skin and makes it look really healthy and I just love the finish of it. Now I will go in with a powder to set everything which will mattify it just a little bit but then throughout the day it does kind of come through um, like that kind of glowy look to it. So this is it completely blended out. And it was so easy to use. I love this brush so much. It makes using this foundation so easy. And I do really, 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 really love the actual spatula side of it because I don't really want to dip my finger in it. I don't have to worry about going wash my hands, things like that, and keeping it sanitary. I just use this and make sure that this little spatula side is clean. So now I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm just going to make everything today Tarte products. So this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer and I've done a first impressions and a follow up review on this and a demo. I love this concealer so so much. So I'm going to put this in triangular shapes underneath my eyes and then a little bit on my chin, underneath my mouth and then in between my eyebrows. And then with the matching brush as well, I'm going to go in with the little fatter side. And then with the matching brush, I'm going to go in with the fatter side and just blend that all out really quickly. And if I didn't mention it before, I'm in the shade Fair. So you can tell that the foundation is just a little darker than I would want because it's fair, um, what is it again? Fair light, whereas the 
uh, concealer is fair. So that's fine. I think it blends out pretty well. It matches my skin tone. It's definitely wearable. I do have a, a NYX like foundation mixer that's white that I could put in there too if I wanted to to make it a little bit lighter. <laughs> and now that I think about it, I actually have the uh, lip quench on right now too. So it's going to be a completely tart face. So then to set that, I'm going to be using the Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette that I also reviewed. I pretty much reviewed every single one of these products. And I'm going to be using that shade that I'm not a huge fan of in the middle, but I paid for the palette, and I love the palette, except for that shade. So I'm going to get my money out of it. I'm going to make this work. And we are going to set the under eyes with that. Or at least try to. Kind of just find that it disappears, but that's okay. So anywhere we put concealer, I'm going to set it with this finishing powder from the palette. Now to set the face, you guys have already seen my review of the new Double Duty Confidence Powder Foundation. So I will show you next after this video later on tonight will be the uh, demo of this foundation. And I'll show you the way I like to use it just stand alone. But another way that I like to use it is by setting this foundation with it. And I also like to use the matching Kabuki uh, brush that comes with it. And on one side is the sponge and then on one side is the Kabuki brush. So I just put it in there and then just kind of buff that into the skin and pressing it into the skin is what makes your foundation really stay in place all day. And you can see I still have a little bit of luminosity to it or like the hydrating look, but it does take away a little bit of that shine. But I think that these two together are like a match made in heaven, which I don't know if they intended that or not, but I think my skin just looks flawless with both of them together. So that is the completed look and the demo is really easy. I think it's so easy to work with this foundation, especially with the matching brush that has the kabuki side, the flat top kabuki on this side, and the spatula. So I love this foundation so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and then I will link down below as well the review if you haven't checked that out. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!